Hello everyone, this is Quakey from NextGen Windows bringing you some rumors of the Windows Threshold Build 9834 screenshots leak. Uh, these were recently leaked, I just see it right here on NeoWin uh, two hours ago apparently. And um, first thing you'll notice right here is this is what supposedly uh, the start menu looks like in Windows 9 Threshold. Uh, if you see right here, you can see your account right here. And the account is Microsoft. Whether these are fake or whether these are real, I have no clue. But uh, this looks the most closely resembling of what a possible, you know, Windows 9 threshold could look like. Uh, and you can see clearly here how all you have access to all your stuff here, just like in Windows 7. You have all apps, which would probably take you to uh, something similar to if I was to go here and then go down it will probably take you to not it won't look like this because it won't be full screen most likely but it, it'll have probably a mixture of your modern apps and your classic apps uh, in one place uh, right there so if we go back so you can see here and you also have a Windows Phone a Windows Phone esque um, Windows Phone esque arrangement of live tiles here so instead of having this full screen of grid icons you rather have a you know a two column icon two regular size column icons with the smaller icons and the wide ones and everything like that um, I'm not sure if you're gonna have the double wide the double thick icons like this picture here or this weather here or whether you see here on the Bing apps that I have open I'm not sure if you're gonna see any of those things but so far so good yes in fact um, I just look closely and all of a sudden yeah, games the app is there so you can search everywhere and it searches for your modern apps and your classic apps which I mean classic as in the desktop so that's a cool thing and then another thing if we scroll down a little bit we notice here there's notifications here so it looks pretty it's it's empty obviously so you won't know what exactly is to expect from it but like similar to down here where I have the keyboard most likely it'll mean if you choose toolbars here or maybe it'll be there by default uh, if you choose toolbars here, it might have a notification toolbar, and that will be what comes up when you click on a certain thing, similar to when I click the keyboard, and a keyboard pops up like that. So uh, expect that probably to be uh, exactly what we see here. Um, it's interesting to note here, this, I don't know, I think this is the month, and this is the day, and this is the year. So uh, September 11, that's today, is when this was leaked. Uh, so it's it's perfect timing today. Um, another thing you'll notice is the PC settings here. Before we even talk about uh, clicking further into the start menu, we're going to notice here the PC settings. And a big thing you'll probably notice, I don't know whether your eyes will glance right over it, is this right here, the, the tool, but the, the bar on top of it. Uh, it looks quite different from what we see up here on my browser here. Uh, this thing is in the way, unfortunately, but it looks quite different. Um, I'm not sure if all applications are going to have this stylization. I kind of hope they do because I kind of want to see a change in uh, the way they show these bars on top. I kind of wish, you know, yes, yes, this is this works perfectly how it is, but I kind of want to see a more modern take on it. And I feel like this would be a more modern take on it. You still have the same icons. People still know what they mean. Uh, it's just a more modern take on it. So it looks uh it looks fairly nicer to me. Maybe they can update it a little bit, possibly to keep more familiarity. You can make the X uh, a red X. Uh, maybe they can do that, or you can leave it as is. It doesn't really matter, but I kind of hope that this this top bar here is what, I, don't, I forgot the exact name of it, but this top bar uh, carries over to all applications on the desktop. So I kind of hope that happens. And then back to the start menu, you can see when you click further into all apps, this is this is what you're going to see. You're going to see, you know, a mixture of your modern and your classic applications and folders. Um, I do see a new icon for folders on the taskbar below. But when you click into the all apps, uh, you notice here there is no new icon. This is the old icon or a slightly old icon. This looks slightly different. I'm not sure but it doesn't look modern compared to this icon here. And then I'm not sure what this is right here. I'm not sure what this icon is, but um, it, it doesn't look like, it looks like there's still more to do obviously, cause it is kind of, it is really early, a year early before the, the full OS will be released. The preview should be released at the end of this month, uh, supposedly September 30th. So I'll be getting my hands on that. But uh, 
you do notice yes there's a modern file there's a modern icon for the files there's modern icons here there's even a search icon which allows you to quickly search your computer I'm not sure why they have that there when they also have search in here maybe they're trying to have a quick way for you to search your computer maybe it opens up this or maybe it opens up the search function like this I'm not exactly sure but uh, hopefully we see a change in that we know there will be rapid updates to this preview version uh, so let's let's hope for that and another thing you will notice here is again with the little bar on top uh, that's on top of so far all the modern apps that I've seen so the settings app has the same top bar the store Windows store has the same top bar and it has some functions so where you would normally see uh, the icon of the store or for whatever app you're using whether it's the settings or the store icon when you click on it <clears throat> when you click on it it looks as if uh, it'll bring you more commands that you can use so you can do project you can project that I guess to other screens whatever screen you choose if you have like 20 screens you can select which screen number you want to project it to you can play it to so I'm guessing this means that you can play it to your Xbox because this usually just means you play it to Xbox play it to smart TV where it has Wi-Fi connectivity so you can project your screen or whatever you're watching to it so that's an interesting thing whether it'll be on every app I'm not sure because currently in Windows 7 and Windows 8 you can only project music and photos and videos using this play to option and now it looks as if it's even in the store app which means you could possibly be able to project anything that's on your screen to a external device which is pretty cool get a share so you got the same options that are on the charms bar over here you got the search you have the share uh, play to is normally under devices here it's near you see the play over there um, and you have also the settings which is here um, and then you have full screen which probably will open up the store in full screen just like if I was to click this uh, see the difference in the top bar while you're here so that's that's an interesting thing that you can see there too and then so far that looks as if um, that's all the images for now but that tells us a lot of stuff uh, about what Microsoft if this is a true leak what Microsoft is thinking about doing in the you know upcoming release of Windows Windows 9 or Windows threshold uh, codename threshold uh, it tells a lot about what they're planning on doing with it and on top of that you can see here um, Microsoft feedback they did say they were trying to figure out a way to give you more direct giveaway they were trying to give us a way to give them more direct feedback on their beta releases so maybe this has something to do with it this Microsoft feedback maybe you click on it and you just type whatever you want I'm not sure exactly what that would mean uh, because um, in a lot of things they just tell you oh send us feedback and then you just click like a question mark or something or you click some random small little icon that's put in the corner somewhere and then it just automatically sends feedback away um, so I'm not sure exactly what that would mean. Maybe this goes to the forums, the beta forums, where you can put in your, you know, feedback of whatever that is. So so far, it looks as if uh, there's some major changes in uh, Threshold, and we'll hope to see some more changes later on and as the month progresses. So currently, it is September 11th. Um, so in about you know 20 days, 19 days, we should see. Hopefully, if this is true we should see threshold preview and expect a video on my channel for that preview along with comparing threshold preview to windows 8.1 currently just to see the changes and how things have moved around and things like that so i hope you enjoyed this video this has been quaker from next gen windows and i'll catch you guys later peace